All right, crew members, today we're going to be making some good old neck bones and some collards and cabbage, y'all. Uh, good old country meal. I've been wanting neck bones for a little minute. So I just start off cleaning these things. This is like the worst part about neck bones for me. I hate cleaning them. You know, uh, just give them a nice benefit bath and let them soak. Then I got to get that little that little snot out of there. You know, that little nasty part and then any membrane to be on the side. It just be looking gunky. And then once I did all that and cleaned them all up, I just kind of put them back in another vinegar, vinegar bath and let the water run clear, kind of shaking every now and then until we get it about this clear. And this is about as clear as it's going to get. And then, you know, I dry them off, put them in a the bowl, start seasoning them up. I went in with a little Tony's, a little bit of um, onion herb. I used some uh, Tabitha's uh, garlic seasoning and none of these have salt in them by the way um except for the lyres that's what i want to use for my salt component and um you know i mix that up pretty good to look like this like that and then i'm gonna go in my dutch oven with some olive oil i'm not gonna put really a a, a thin layer i want you know just kind of stand up a little bit because i'm gonna brown these off not um super dark not super brown but i do want to brown them on most mostly all sides and just kind of turn them around and then when that's done the bottom of my dutch oven looked just like this from browning them and i just put uh onions layered right in the bottom just like that and that's how i'm going to leave them i'm going to stack those brown uh neck bones right on top of like that like hey you know what i'm saying then i'm gonna go on with some better than bouillon this is the uh chicken seasoning it's just the reduced uh sodium then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm not gonna necessarily cover the neck bones, but I'm just gonna kind of go up the side of them. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of uh, soy sauce, and then I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar in there as well. Usually when I cook pork, I always add vinegar. Then I'm just gonna take some um, golden potatoes. I'm gonna put them right on top. I'm not gonna necessarily force them down in there because I don't want them to uh, cook uh, too much in liquid, and then they'll just like fall apart. So I just kind of want them on top. And uh, I'm gonna put these in the oven and let them braise for about, um, what I go, three and a half hours? Three and a half to four hours. Um, then I'm gonna uh, clean my collars up. Right now I'm just cutting out the stem. I know some people just rip it off. You know, some people might cut the stem up in there. This is just usually, if I'm doing fresh collars, this is how I do it. This is how I do it. I know you might have an easier way, but I just cut the stem out this way. And I just uh, stack the leaves up by like size. I'm going in a bowl with some um, water. I don't have any more vinegar, so I'm using uh, vinegar. Uh, I'm using, uh, excuse me, lemon juice to um, to clean these. I let them soak for a minute, and then I go and rinse each leaf individually, stack them up. Then I roll them like so. Mm. Get my knife, and then I cut them into strips. That's how I uh, prepare my collars. It's the same way every time. Uh, strips is just the way I do. I know some people just like to tear them up. But this is just how I do it. And uh, yeah. So once I got those cleaned up, looking the way I want to, I just throw them in another bowl. Then I want to go in a pan and brown some um, country ham and some uh, some white onion. I know some people like to use uh, smoked turkey, which I have before, but um, this is what I'm using. I just took that first batch, let them shrink down a little bit, and then I added the rest in there. And then um, after that, I'm gonna go in with some cheese. I'm using some more uh, chicken bouillon and um, just considerable amount. That's reduced sodium, so I really want that flavor to be in there. Then I go in with some more uh, soft free Tony, some more uh, Mr. Dash onion and herb. Then I'm gonna go in with about two uh, heaping teaspoons of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of slap yo ma ma. Adding a little bit more uh, apple cider vinegar to my greens because I love it. Then I'm gonna go in with some um, Ola seasoning from T and Lee. I use that smoky in this. Then half a stick of butter. And then I'm gonna add some water. Of course, I don't necessarily uh, fill the pot up. I just add a generous amount of water to where they can cook down, and um, it, it still be some in about in about two three hours. This this amount of greens gonna take about two and a half hours. Um, that's how long I cooked them. About two, two and a half hours um, to that tender. Um, I do cook my greens down for a while. I do not uh, do no quick fire on greens. I don't do that. This is the neck bones after I took them out of the oven after about three and a half hours. Then these are my greens once they were done. Once they finish, I go and add my uh, cut cabbage on top. I'm gonna uh, put those right on top, not mix them in. 
put the lid on, let that, let the greens, let the juice from the greens steam the cabbage for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes most, because I still want that little texture to the uh, cabbage, and then I go and I mix everything up. And so that'll, that'll wilt down a little bit more. I cut the oven off and um, I stirred them together. It got to really incorporate it. And then I just put my lid back on. I let them sit till it's time to eat them. And this is the finished product, y'all. Neck bones, my cornbread, and I got my uh, collars and cabbage greens, y'all. This is the end of it. So delicious. We'll see you in the mouth. You can ask AJ as soon as I hit the door, I take my clothes off. So, they will come to you. Be, uh, it better be premeditation. You better let me know. Depending on what we got going on, we could come, if we could be out and then come home, it'd be four o'clock in the afternoon. I sit down on the couch or I go to the bathroom or something and I come back around, I come back out and she comes switch through the hallway, got her nightgown on. Baby, I'm not playing no games. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny with hashtag. 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 C C T V. Welcome back to our eating show. show. Today we're back with another mook bong muk bang mook bong muk bong muk. Alright, I get it! So many ways to say it. Mm -mm. What we eat? Y'all today we got some neck bones and potatoes. We got some cabbage and collards mixed and then we got some good old cornbread. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be eating today. Thank you, Danielle. Um, this is your very first time on the channel. Thank you for being here. We ask that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you set the notifications to all so you be notified every single time. Hopefully, every single time that we upload a video or go live or any of those special things that we do on this here YouTube. And mainly so you can be notified every time the cannon drops some heat. What I have. Oh, yes. And remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cannons are on the road to a 50K, y'all. We's climbing that ladder, y'all. We climbing up now. <laughs> thank y'all so much for being here and sharing and telling people. And you know, I can't thank y'all enough. We're gonna go ahead and pray and we're gonna get into this good old food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food. We ask that you bless it, Lord. Let it be nourished by our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, y'all. Uh, you can go ahead and do something. I got apple juice today. What is apple? Oh, I got a fresh one over here, but it's, mm -hmm. it's not cold, so. Might do that. Then I'm gonna do this. Top it off with a little. Some neck bone Shit. and potatoes, y'all got some neck bone and potato bone. Let me see. Mm -mm, they still hot. Yeah, <laughs> get you one at the bottom. Get you some at the bottom. That's what that's still warm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Thank you, honey bun. You welcome. <laughs> Here's the spoon for. The cabbage and collars. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my out of here. What I want to start with. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. What's today? Huh? What's today? A glorious day. <laughs> the weekend. The freaking weekend? Mm mm. It's today, Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Oh, yeah, you know, Mimi. I said, now, did I go to sleep? <laughs> Good. Oh, God. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't that look mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> it still look good. Y'all wanted it. That's why I dropped it. <laughs> he wanted it. 
I feel like I have enough cabbage pieces in me. Yeah, my crumb bread crumbly. Crumble. Because I uh you know, get some patient and I slice the hot mm -hmm. and it yeah. It's still good to me. It's probably got good taste. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I didn't know if you was ready. I said you already know. Oh. <laughs> no more I'm referring to. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Mac bones are hot sweats. They're hot sweats. <laughs> Dog don't eat. I'll tell y'all. I'll be saying I don't know what it is. I guess folks learn a new a new word. <laughs> What's that? Braise. <laughs> Some type of liquid, you know. But if it's rolling, boiling, that's boiling. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't brazen. When oven braise, oven braise. I be in some kind of liquid. You can braise on the stove top, but you gotta have your eye all the way down. If it's rolling, use boiling. <laughs> it just, it just. Somebody might be like, "Well, what's, what's, what make a difference?" Yeah, it's a difference. Because your final product will turn out different. Mm. That bite right there. Hmm. That bite right there. <laughs> it bless your soul. What? <laughs> Everything too. It's like I've been wanting. It's good without them. I know. It's like I've been wanting hot sauce. Mm -mm. Like I haven't used it like. Mm -mm. You whatever. haven't been eating anything, I don't think. So like, is it weird to crave hot sauce on its own? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course I wouldn't eat it on its own, but I'm craving hot sauce. Mm. You know something we ain't ate in a few days, more than a few. Yeah. Chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you know my, what that means. <laughs> you know my chicken meter is feeling low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say you be feeling low. I said my chicken meter. Oh. It's feeling low. That's my new potato. Mm. Yeah, they were talking about things that adults say they're too old to be dealing with. And I'm <laughs> sure we share the same. <laughs> As I get older, for some reason, 
sounds bother me. Like, not sound sounds, but unnecessary ones. <laughs> Loud talking for no reason. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Little knocking. <laughs> Little knocking. Mm -hmm. Keep a name on that. So the first one is arguing with people. Yep. I was wondering if that was going to be something like yep. that. Too old for that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, who's about to go? I'm not about to go back and forth with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I unnecessary arguments too. Because you, you ever made somebody that's just combative? Mm -hmm. Like, they just want to argue? Right. No matter what, everything turns into an argument or tries to. And I'm just like, bro. Get the fuck out of my face, Dana! Okay, uh, after a while, especially if you first meet somebody, it might take you a little bit. You start to realize, oh, okay, all right. You just want to argue. That's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not doing it. <laughs> when we're talking it takes to, a lot of energy, too. When we're talking to yourself, bro. I've right. always been like that, though. What? I'm not about to argue. Mm -mm. You can talk to yourself. Like, not <laughs> unnecessary arguments. Sometimes you have a debate about things. That's cool. But when you you know those people, when you just want they just want to argue. Mm -hmm. They start out something. The first thing you say, it's like they got a rebuttal. And I'm like, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> it take me too long to come down once I'm dead, so it ain't even worth it for me. I'm sitting over here expending energy I need. <laughs> um, hangovers. Yes. <laughs> I'm too old. Because <laughs> they hurt. They do. They hurt. People always laugh at me because I say I be trying to look up IV clinics. I do. <laughs> it just should not take two days for me to get back normal. That, um, uh, hangover boy. Mm -mm. Nah, no, real. Be all day like Jesus. Mm. And that was when I was younger, they hurt. But I still feel like, you know, I was able to get up and go to class and do what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -mm. you imagine somebody drinking during the middle of the week and you got to try to get up and go to work. You probably won't go. Right. <laughs> um, anything starting past 9 p.m. Yeah. AJ has made me become a night owl, but I will say that um, I'm not a, I still don't like to be out late. <laughs> it just depends on the day. Mm -hmm. If I'm feeling that I am, if I ain't. It's something about, for me, oh. it's something about if I done got myself in home mode. <laughs> Especially if I already kind of been out. Mm -hmm. If I'm like, feel like I gotta just kind of like, okay, I'm putting my basketball shorts. Mm -hmm. I done settled in. You calling me, tell you, hey, come get my. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but you if, should have uh, get for I took my clothes off. <laughs> but if I'm just chilling, ain't really doing nothing, and I ain't really. But once I'm, once I done got to, all right, not even if I'm winding, I ain't got to be winding down. It's just about, like, pretty much locking yourself up for the night. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> I ain't, you know, I done, I done it. I'm good. Mm -hmm. You call me talking about some combo. Mm -mm. That's a lot. <laughs> you yesing a lot. You can ask AJ as soon as I hit the door, I take my clothes off. So... They will come to you. It'd be fun. Uh, better be pre-meditation. You better let me know. Depending on what we got going on, we could come, if we could be out and then come home, it'd be 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I sit down on the couch or I go to the bathroom or something and I come back and I come back out and she comes switch through the hallway got her nightgown on. Baby, I'm not playing no games. Mm-mm. What -mm. No. I want to be comfortable when I'm home. <laughs> Especially once I take that bra off, it's the end of you. Mm -mm. Bra. I have um 
recently not put my bonnet on till I lay down, but <laughs> I have been known to put my bonnet on at four o'clock. I don't care. So once I get in there, if you, if you, if you, get, if you get me up there like early, you know, mm -hmm. but I can't feel like I'm I'm not we're already blocked mm -hmm. off all outside interaction. Mm -hmm. Hey, if we friends and family, as long as you call first, mm -hmm. you might be welcome to come over. Mm -hmm. Just don't expect me to come over there. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good bite like you said you had. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Sitting on the floor. Yes. Ooh. I'm too old. Yeah. <laughs> but once I get down there, I'm down there. It's my butt. Mm -hmm. After about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, this shit hurt. <laughs> Y'all, when Tony was here, she kept sitting on the floor. And I'm like, why do you keep sitting down here? Cause she ain't had nowhere to go. She a midget. She, she, <laughs> she was I like, can't do it, and I'm not that tall. No, but. I'm really most of the way there. Mm mm. <coughs> Can I not? Mm. Waiting in line. I don't do good with that. Waiting in line. Yeah, I used to not be so impatient, but I just I don't be wanting. To. It just depends if the line is moving. I can't stand you no. Have a couple. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand waiting in no slow line mm -hmm. that ain't going nowhere. That makes me angry. Yes. Y'all, the Dollar Tree, what, <coughs> two days ago, I think, and um, this man, you know, they blow balloons up. But he was the only one up there, and he blowing them balloons up for this lady, and she getting like six of them. And so this man in front of me turns around, mm -hmm. say, here we go. Mind you, I already know it's three people behind me. He goes, it's taking too long. I said, sir, please don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't get me started. Mm -hmm. He over here telling me about his birthday. But anyway, besides that, this black lady behind me, he need to get him some help up here. I'm kind of here. <laughs> I'm like, why, Lord? No, no uh-uh. She's the older black lady, and she's like, this Dollar Tree need to come on. <laughs> I tell you who's bad for making you wait in a line is Dollar General. Dollar General will make you put your stuff back. Right. I don't even be caring. Well, Dollar Tree can be bad too. Yes. But Dollar General, man, yeah, I don't know. They don't care. The workers don't try to move no faster. I don't know how many lines I done sit in Dollar General. Like man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want this mess. Mm mm. Mm mm. So good. Mm hmm. You got full. Not being comfortable. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Not being comfortable. No. Yes, I'm, I'm too, too old, old for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be comfortable. Yes. Yeah. In every aspect. It the way I'm hurt. sitting. When I'm somewhere I might not want to be. <laughs> All of those. Did you say it hurt? Yeah, it be hurt. <laughs> you got to find comfort. Because after a while, your bones stiffen up mm -hmm. on you. That's going to be it. Mm-hmm. I also didn't realize as I got older the importance of having a good mattress. What? <laughs> I never understood that. I guess for me when I was growing up, I was like, I'm gonna lay on this bit anyway. But now I need <laughs> the right support. Because at the end of your day. <laughs> and all the test trials and tribulations. Not test trials and tribulations. Have piled up upon you. Mm-mm. Sometimes. 
All you want is a hot shower and a comfortable bed. Mm -hmm. And that mattress, <laughs> it, it makes all the difference in the world, man. Yes. <laughs> we, you have to endure a bad mattress. It is what it is. You know, you just be glad to be in the bed, but pretty ready. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing like a comfortable mattress. Mm -hmm. Nice, clean sheets. <laughs> Things I never used to think about. Now I be like, I need this, I need that. Because even the mattress we have now, we're about to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Now, this is good mattress. We bought it. It's good. But mm -hmm. the problem for me was it was too soft. And I'm like, I thought I wanted a soft for their mattress because I definitely don't like too firm beds that are too firm. Mm -hmm. But the problem is I have a stomach sleeper. So with that, I made my back do this number right here. A little spine, a little curve. And so for a long time, that bothered me. I think I just got used to it now and I don't sleep exactly the same way I used to. I mm -hmm. think it's forced me to become more of a side sleeper mm -hmm. because sleeping on my back, my stomach like that, I wake up. Sometimes my back just be so. I think I sleep on the side. Sometimes I sleep on my back like I'm in a coffin. But um. Yeah, you do that a lot. Oh. And it's when not, I wake up, most of the time I'm sleeping side. It's not the best position for you either. <laughs> because like y'all, Daniel don't really like like Daniel can go a lot of nights without snoring. <laughs> but if not necessarily every time, but if she get in the rain, depending on. The condition she in, man, she done had a little eye color. She a little extra tired. <laughs> she sleep on that back, boy. Sometimes that snoring boy come out, boy. Some days she don't, though. And usually when she not snoring, she not on her back anyway. She don't snore on like, boy. When she be on that back, boy, one night. And I know I done got her several nights. I know I have been loud. But when you in that position, you yeah. It is what it is. One, be yelling. Boy, one, I ain't thinking about you. One night, I, I mean, it wasn't even that I was trying to get her to stop snoring. Because I'm not that person that just hits you so you can wake up and stop snoring. It was I'm the so sick of the neck. It was the fact that she was facing my ear. <laughs> and I couldn't go to sleep. I was so up and I couldn't go to sleep. And she was on that back. Say, hey. Turn over! Leave me alone. Turn over! Hey! Hey! Turn over! And I sleep so hard that I'm... Well, I wake up and move and go right back to sleep. Please turn over off your back, cuz. But, you know, for the most part, when she ain't on her back, she don't, you know, she don't snore like that. And I, I mean, that's just, you know, that's how that, um, I forgot what the technical name for it. I'm not talking about sleep apnea or nothing like that. But I'm talking about, you know, whenever... It's a name. Is it like a a glottal wow. position with your glottal something? Mm -mm. And and it causes to be blocked when you're in a certain position, just depending on the person. But I've always, for the longest, I enjoy sleeping on my stomach. But now I think I sleep on my side. Only problem is if I sleep on my side too long in the wrong position, it's like I be a little aching. A little aching. Mm -hmm. Too many neck bones. Yeah. <laughs> so, y'all, thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is good, y'all. Mm -hmm. And, um, like this video, drop a <laughs> comment down below. Let us know what you think. Share this video with everybody because sharing is caring. So, think about us, care about us. We love you a minute. We're going to see you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Bye.